In this video, we will draw a flower blooming to celebrate the arrival of spring. Here are some tips for you to get the most out of this video. I'm going to first lay out the branch behind the flower. And this can be whatever arrangement you like. The only thing to remember is that the branches should get thinner as they go away from the main trunk of the tree, so towards the outside. Once the branch is drawn, what we're going to do is draw a large circle. This will be the size that the flower will be. And this will take several tries. And the circle doesn't have to be perfect, but the closer you can get to a circle, the better it'll be. Once we've done that, what we're going to do is draw a smaller circle right in the middle. And this will be the bud of the flower where we will start drawing. Then divide the circle into three sections, just like this. After that, what I'm going to do is draw a series of crescents around the center of the flower. So these are the petals that are not yet fully open. And I'm going to keep drawing petals around the ones I just drew in a circle. As I work my way towards the outside, each row of petals will get larger, which means that each petal will be wider and a little bit deeper to show that it's open a little bit more than the row inside. And we will do this until we get to the larger circle. Now this shape doesn't have to be perfect, but again, the closer you get to a circle, the better the flower will look. I'm going to draw some leaves and arrange them randomly around the flower. And I can group them in twos or threes or draw them individually. And this one I'll draw a little bit twisted to make it different from the others. The strokes that I used for drawing the petals are these four. And as you can see, each petal gets larger and wider. Now I'm going to ink the petals and the curves that I drew, I'm going to turn them into wedges and fill the space in between the petals. And what I'm doing is just leaving a small gap between individual petals so that they read properly. And I'll work my way outside, making them larger and approximately following a circular shape. Now I'm going to ink the leaves and also leave a little gap between the edge of the leaf and the petals so that it reads properly. And then add some detail to the leaves. And once that is done, we can ink the branch behind. I'm shading each petal individually. And all I'm doing is adding a little touch of gray or black towards the inside of 
What this will do is add depth to the structure of the flower. Here's the final version. I've added some more shading and I've textured to the branches. Thanks for watching.